It's dirty. This is a dirty, dirty dram. So just to add something into the video uh, with regards to the, the channel during the festive period. Uh, this video should be out today, yeah, and <laughs> next week, I believe, if I've got my timeline right, should be Christmas. So I probably won't be doing anything until after the new year, uh, so don't think I've just abandoned uh, YouTube, but yeah, that's all I've basically got to say and I'll add that in, try and slip it in somewhere and uh, make it look natural. I should not have said that. Why does everything sound dirty? Um, all right. How's it going and welcome to Whiskey Whims with me, Stuart. Today, back to normality with regards to the videos and we have a whiskey review instead of 30 minute, 40 minute videos like what we've had the last two times. So today, uh, I basically gave the choice out to my Instagram and Facebook followers to decide which whiskey I'd review and it was a toss up between the single casks Kalila, 11 year old, and Karn Moore's Ben Nevis, 4 year old. So obviously from the title of the video and the thumbnail, it's Karn Moore, 4 year old, that won the vote. So we've got a four year old Carmore, 900 bottles, bottled at 47.5% ABV, uh, Sherry Hogshead matured and non-chill filtered, no added colouring. Pretty sure it cost me around £40 uh, when I purchased the bottle and it does come in a box but we're not here for the box, we're here for the whiskey. Um, I'm about maybe just under halfway, uh, just got over half left of the whiskey. So it's a good time to review, uh, I've had a good few drams out of it and yeah, we'll basically get down to the review, get down to a little bit about Ben Nevis. They're owned by Nika, the Nika Whiskey Company, uh, I'm pretty sure that's what their name is, or Nika Distilling Company. Uh, so but they own Ben Nevis Distillery, so a lot of Ben Nevis goes to uh, Nika blends, it goes to Japan to be used in different types of whiskies, different types of blend. And we're fortunate enough to get some official releases from Ben Nevis and most of it is independently bottled whiskies. So as you can probably see, I've got the cat behind me and the dog's wanting up as well. So I don't think I'm going to get peace this video. But anyway, we'll get right down to the, the palate, uh, the nose and the finish. The nose is malty, it's uh, buttery, vibrant. You can tell it's uh, young, it's got that, that kind of vibrant <laughs> it's got that vibrant feel to it. It's reminiscent of the uh, heavily peated series from Kilkerran. They're quite young whiskies. They do have a bit of peat. Uh, this I don't think is peated. But there is a little subtle smoke there. Very subtle, very soft, the smoke on the nose. There are sherry notes that come through after the butteriness. Sort of... I want to say boozy raisins, yeah, it, it, it seems higher ABV on the nose than it actually is, 47.5%, a nice ABV, but on the nose it, it seems like this could be cast strength, it seems like it could be 50% because it, it, it does have a little bit of a nip on the nose. There's also some spiced fruitcake. I was just recently making a, a Christmas cake and I used Paul John Oloroso uh, whiskey to, to, to booze up all the fruit um, and I let that sit for a day. So it reminds me of that, it's like a whiskey Christmas cake, it's very boozy, very a lot of raisins in here. Yeah, it's nice on the nose, an enjoyable nose, uh, we'll go down to the palate now. So spicy to start with, there's a good nip on the tongue, I think it comes from pepper, I don't think it comes from the um, the young element of the whiskey, I, th I do think it's just a pepperiness and a, a, a kind of a nip on the tongue, nothing to do with the ABV at all, like I said, just a uh, pepper, it's rather, how would I say, you can't really tell it's only four year old, for me, in the age, it's quite well developed, uh, very well balanced, rounded, complex, all those bloody words that are used all the time. It comes together beautifully. Uh, there's more smoke now, a little bit more evident on the palate than it was in the nose. 
the smokes, yeah, you, you've got a little bit more of a hit and smoke there. It's quite earthy on the palate, rather dirty. If there was one thing, one way I would describe this whiskey, it's dirty. This is a dirty, dirty dram. And it's beautiful, I love it. <laughs> I've gave it away what this is going to be already. I think this is an excellent whiskey for £40. It's great. Um, I'm trying not to summarise too early, trying not to get ahead of myself. But yeah, I'm really enjoying it. I really do enjoy it. It brings a smell to my face. It's quite, I wouldn't say it's necessarily funky. It's not got a sulfuric. Um, it's not got like a funky fruit. It's drying on the palate. It's just sherry kind of bitterness. Um, the sherry is there on the palate. It's there on the nose. It's just, it is, it's just dirty. It's a dirty whiskey. It's very raw. It feels raw, it feels um, stripped back in a sense, but it still all comes together, ties perfectly together and well balanced. I hope that makes sense. Uh, the finish. The finish is, um, I'd say medium. It's not overly long and it's not terribly short. Um, the sherry's a lot more evident on the finish. I think this is because the other flavours uh, dissipate, uh, they maybe evaporate or whatever, and the sherry now now comes through in the whiskey. More raisins, um, more characteristics like that from the sherry. There's dry spices, there's things like cinnamon. Um, yeah, it's just very dominant in the sherry on the finish. Bitter, drying, all those things you'd expect with sherry. Uh, I'm just looking at the back of the label. Raisins, stewed prunes and leather at the forefront with a rich earthiness in the background. The earthiness, I'd say, is at the foreground rather than the background. For me, it's just such a dirty, um, beautiful... I don't know if you can describe something as dirty and beautiful. Is that an oxymoron? Um, but it's quite... Yeah, it's just interesting. It's it's full-bodied, it's, it's full of flavour, packs a good little bit of a hit. Uh, like I said, I've, I've already given it away. This for me is a whiskey win. I definitely recommend it. Uh, it's worth the forty pound, and I probably would get another bottle if I could, uh, because it, it is that good. It, it won't be tailored to everybody's taste uh, because of the dirtiness, because of the kind of raw element, uh, and also it being a little young. The like I said, the young age is evident in the nose, but on the palate, it's more robust and it shows its its true character, and the the whiskey kind of pulls it through. Um, so it doesn't seem that young on the palate. But yeah, definitely a whiskey win. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Hopefully it's been a quicker one than my last couple videos. But yeah, I've been Stuart. This has been Whiskey Wims. I'll, uh, I'll see you later.